Okay, let's try the geometric um, series question. It says 15 plus 5 plus 5 over 3. If you, uh, this is a, and this dot 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 means it kind of goes on forever is what they're showing here. It's geometric, and if you want to find the common ratio, all you do is divide consecutive terms, T2 minus T1. 5 divided by 15 reduced r is 1 over 3. Now it says explain why this series converges. Well the condition for convergence is is that the number has to be between 1 and minus 1. So the answer is 1 third is in between 1 and minus 1 and that's how why it converges. Now it says evaluate this and you're looking at this 3 to the 2 minus and you're going well man I don't I'm not sure what this is. Now if you were clever it's like maybe seeing 3 to the minus n is really 1 third to the n. So you're looking at r as um, um, 1 third. But say you didn't know that. Just look at the first term. Put 1 into the formula. 2 minus 1. Just type this in your calculator. Put a 1 in there you get 15. Put in 2 and you get 5. Put in 3. Hey, this is the same geometric series. So the first term, A, is 15. And R is 1 over 3. And the formula for an infinite series is A equals 1 minus R. And R, as long as R is a fraction in between 1 and minus uh, 1, it works. So you get your calculator, you go 15 over 1 minus a third, that's 2 thirds, you tip in times, the answer is going to be 22 and a half, or 44 over 2. That's the sum to infinity. And that's all there is to it. There's that geometric series. Now the next question is... Um, a different, whole different thing. It's a sequence given where they've given you a formula and they tell you it's the sum. And if you want to find the sum of three terms, you just put three in here. It's a formula that they're telling you that's what it is. So the sum of 24 terms, you just put 24 in there. 24 plus 2 minus 4. Your calculator says it's 67,108,860. Now, if you want to find the 24th term, you take 24 terms added up, minus 23 terms added up, the sum of 23, that'll give you the 24th term. So, if you think about it, if you sum 23 terms plus the 24th, that gives you this. So, this equation makes sense, and it's an important trick. Well, we already know the sum of 24 terms. We just put in the formula for the sum of 23, we put in 23 plus 2 minus 4. We just put that in our calculator and we get the answer for the 24th term. 33,554,424. Now, it's a little bit weird here, this thing. They say, prove that the nth term of the sequence is 2 to the n plus 1. Well, if you want to find any term, you take the sum of, uh, you take the sum and you minus the sum of one term less. That's what we did. The sum of n minus one term less. Well, let's put that in there. There's the, the sum of n. Oh, uh, this one, uh, yes. I, I think it's a little bit... Yeah, if we put n minus 1, oh, I got a little bit confused myself. The sum of n is just, there's the sum of n. Two, there it is, the sum of n. We just write it down, you silly goose. I'm looking at it. The sum of n minus 1, take n minus 1 and put it in for n. Minus 1 plus 2 gives you plus 1. Well, there it is, the sum of n and the sum of n minus 1. The sum of n minus 1, you just take n minus 1 and put it in there, and you get that. Well, minus 4, minus minus 4, is 0. And then you have 2 to the n plus 2, minus 2 to the n plus 1. Well, now we factor out 2 to the n. Hey, this is 2 to the n times 2 squared, minus 2 to the first. Well, what's 4 minus 2? That's just 2 to the 1. And 2 to the n times 2 to the 1, hey, that really does equal 2 to the n plus 1. I was looking at this, and I, I had a little trouble seeing it there for a second, but I see it now. There is Sn. I mean, there it is written down. 
s to the m minus 1, you just put n minus 1 in there, you'll get n plus 1. And then you just work it out. The key trick here is factoring this 2 to the n, though.